Hi everyone, I'm Krista with Saltwater Studies and I really felt led to record this video today um, as another prayer time. Um, I have been communicating with a lot of different families as a result of, you know, the start of school and going through parent orientation um, last week. And there's a, quite a few families that are just going through some really difficult things right now. And as I was thinking about them today, I, I just really felt burden in my heart for, for all of you guys and especially these families. And so I just wanted to spend some time in prayer to pray over these specific requests and then also to pray for the start of school. I know that's a big time. There's a lot of new homeschool families and they're trying to figure it out. And, you know, there's a lot of, there, there can be um, anxiety with that. And so I just wanted to take some time and talk to our dad about it. Yeah. All right, so will you join me in prayer as I pray for these people and these requests and then also for everybody in the start of school year? God, I thank you that you are a caring God and a loving God and a God who hears us and listens to our requests. I thank you, Lord, that you are always with us. And Lord, there are just so many people right now who are going through some really challenging situations, Lord. And I thank you that you are always with them. Um, but I, I just pray for intervention, God, on their behalf. I pray, Lord, that they will feel your tangible presence in this very instant as I'm praying, that they will be encouraged and uplifted and um, strengthened, God. And I want to just list them one at a time and pray for them. And I pray for the family that is displaced by toxic mold, having to move your entire family and then deal with insurance and the cleanup and all of that. Like that is a major undertaking. And right at the beginning of the school year as well, Lord, I just pray that you will pave the way for them that you will open doors for them that no man can shut, that there will be good that comes out of this. Actually, you know what? We know that there's going to be good because your word says that all things work together for those, for the good of those who love you. And so I thank you, Lord. I'm not asking for good. I'm thanking you for the good that I know that you're going to do. And so I just pray, God, that you will give them peace, um, that you will help them again to navigate the situation with the remediation and the insurance and all that needs to be done. Lord, I just pray that you will give them wisdom, God, that you will give them allies in this process and that it will go smoothly for them. I also lift up the the family who has a family member who just recently had surgery, Lord, and is in the hospital. And I just pray for him as he has gone through that surgery, Lord, that you will bless him with a quick recovery, that whatever it is that he had to have done, Lord, that you will just knit him back together, that he won't just be healed, but he will be restored, that whatever it is that he had to go through, that he will say, wow, you know, I feel better than I ever have. And I pray, Lord, that it will just be a testimony of your goodness. I know that his family loves him, God, and so I just pray that you will bless them with many more years together, whatever the situation was. And God, I also just want to pray for the family who had a recent death in the family as um, the grandmother passed away, and then also uh, a child that ended up in the hospital with pneumonia. Like, that's a lot, Lord. And so I just pray for them as they're grieving the loss of their family member, Lord. And and I just pray that you will minister to their heart. And, and we know, God, that you, your words say is that you are the God of many sorrows and that you comfort us in our distress, Lord, and, and you are near to the brokenhearted. And so I just pray as this family walks through the dark valley of grief, Lord, that you will be with them, Lord, and that you will comfort them and that you will extend your peace and your mighty hand upon them, God. And I just pray that they will feel you close. And Lord, I just pray for this um, young boy who is dealing with pneumonia, God, and I just pray that you will touch his body and heal it, that it will be a rapid recovery so that the doctors are just scratching their heads saying like, what, what happened here? You know, I pray that this day, that this will be the day of his healing and that he will be able to just be well um, and do all of the things that young boys are supposed to be doing, running around and playing and enjoying time with family and friends, God. And so I just um, rebuke the sickness, Lord, that has taken hold of his body. And I ask God that you will completely restore him, that there will be no impact to his lungs, um, that he will just be 100% Lord in this instant, God. I just thank you for what you're going to do. God, I also just want to 
pray over the start of the school year, especially for the new homeschool families. I know that it can be so overwhelming trying to pick curriculum and, you know, there's the anxiety of being a parent and then there's also the anxiety of, you know, now you're in charge of your child's schooling, you know? Um, and I know so many parents are just hoping that they don't screw up, you know? But God, I just thank you that your mercy is ever abundant and that you lead us and guide us. And so I just pray for comfort and peace as well for all of the families this year, the ones that are starting and the ones who are maybe facing, you know, um, learning struggles with their kids and they're wondering, you know, it, did I make the right choice? Is what we're doing? Is it working, God? I pray that that they will just know that you just ask us to do our very best and your grace is sufficient in all in all situations even when we fail your grace is sufficient god and so i thank you lord that you are literally the god who's coming behind us you know like we think we're going forward and we're doing stuff but really you know we're kind of like the toddler whose like hands are being held by by dad or like the kid that's learning how to ride a bike and we think we're doing it but really it's dad's hand on the seat that's helping us forward god that's literally who we we are. We are the kid that's trying to learn how to ride a bike, you know, and your hand is what's holding the bike up and moving us forward. And so I just thank you for that because you are truly a good, good father. And so I just pray, God, that the parents um, who are starting this new school year will recognize that you have the hand on the seat and you are directing this vehicle, this, this vessel, this bike, wherever it goes, Lord. And may you be glorified in our lives this school year. I just pray, Lord, again, I've said it so many times, Lord, but I really feel like this is, this is the key thing for this prayer is, is your peace, Lord, your peace, your understanding, your comfort, and I pray, Lord, that you will prosper these families in this time of difficulty. This earth is the only time that we get to worship you through hardship and pain. It's the only time we have the opportunity to give you this sacrifice because there will be no hardship, there will be no pain when we are worshiping you in eternity. And so, Lord, I just pray that you will bless these families with perspective as they walk through these difficult seasons and these difficult circumstances, not minimizing what they're going through because everything is really hard, God but just recognizing it, that you have a purpose and a plan and you take ashes and you turn them into something beautiful. You truly do, God. You are the great restorer, the great healer, the God who speaks something out of nothing. And so, Lord, I just pray that you will speak something out of nothing in the middle of these circumstances that you might be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, amen. So if there's some way that I can pray for you, um, <laughs> please let me know. I love to pray for people and I will continue to post these videos as long as I'm aware of prayer requests that need to be um, talked about with, with our God. And so yeah, just send me a, a message um, either to Krista at saltwaterstudies.com or um, you can direct message me on, um, yeah, I think you can direct message me, right? Yeah do that. <laughs> you can do that as well. <laughs> all right. I hope you all have a blessed day.